In this video, I explain classification of fluid or it is also called as the types of fluid. The fluid may be classified into the following five types. First is idle fluid, second is real fluid, third one is Newtonian fluid, fourth is non-Newtonian fluids and the five is idle plastic fluid. So first we understand the idle fluid. A fluid which is incompressible incompressible means value of k is equal to 0 and is having no viscosity viscosity is denoted by the mu so mu is equal to 0 so if fluid is incompressible means k is equal to 0 viscosity is equal to 0 surface tension is equal to 0 it is known as the idle fluid idle fluid is only an imaginary fluid because all the fluid which exit have some viscosity okay so we see the number of fluid so all the fluid have some viscosity viscosity of a fluid may not be zero that's why the idle fluid is only imaginary fluid no actual fluid is called as the idle fluids now for all the types of the fluid we draw the one diagram so diagram is the shear stress versus velocity gradients so velocity gradient is denoted as the rho u upon rho y. So idle fluid have a zero shear stress. Okay, here the value of shear stress is zero and it has some velocity gradients. So it is called as the idle fluids. And this vertical line on this y axis it is called as the idle solid because solid are have a no velocity. So velocity gradient for the idle solid is zero and it have a certain value of the shear stress. Second fluid is the real fluid. A fluid which possesses viscosity is known as the real fluids. So in ideal fluid, what we mentioned having a no viscosity. So here we mention the fluid which have some viscosity. It is known as the real fluids. All the fluid in actual practice are real fluid. Fluid means the liquid and gas. So all the fluid is the real fluid in a actual practice now this real fluid is classified in a two category first one is called as the newtonian fluid and second is the non newtonian fluids so newtonian fluid is a one type of real fluid so it is definition of newtonian fluid what we mention a real fluid in which the shear stress is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain is known as the newtonian fluids and shear strain is called as the velocity gradient. So here we draw this diagram of the shear stress versus velocity gradient. Or instance of velocity gradient, we are also able to write the rate of shear strain. So shear stress and the rate of shear strain is directly proportional. That's why we draw the one straight line. Okay, here that is called as the Newtonian fluids. So if we convert this definition into this equation then we write down the tau is equal to mu into du upon dy so what is mu mu is the viscosity tau is the shear stress and the du upon dy is the rate of shear deformations so rate of shear deformation means difference of velocity between the layer of fluid means one fluid is passing from the one pipe means water is passing from the pipe so water have a different layers and the different layer have a different velocity. So in a pipe, the fluid have a maximum velocity at the centers and the velocity is reduced when the water is coming into contact with the pipe. In simple term, Newtonian fluid is fluid which follow the Newton's law of viscosity. It is called as the Newtonian fluids. Now what are the examples of Newtonian fluids? water air and thin water oil are the example of newtonian fluids now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fluid mechanics and hydraulic machine subject for the more video the various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car or you can also visit the playlist in a playlist the various subject of mechanical engineering is available Four type of the fluid is the non-Newtonian fluids. Non-Newtonian means 
the fluid which not follow the newton's law of viscosity it is called as the non newtonian fluids in other term it is a real fluid in which shear stress is not proportional to rate of shear strain or a velocity gradient is known as the non newtonian fluids in the newtonian fluid what we study they are the proportionals but in a non newtonian fluid here we mention not proportional so in a definition of newtonian fluid just we need to add the not words in a front of this proportional words and in this diagram of the shear stress what says rate of shear strain we see this is line is indicate the non newtonian fluids It means the non newtonian fluid is follow this type of the line if we draw the graph of the shear stress versus rate of shear strains example of the non newtonian fluid is the toothpaste blood melted butters and the shampoo and the last type of the fluid is the idol plastic fluid a fluid in which so it is only fluid it is not real fluids here we are not mention real in a definition of the newtonian and the non newtonian fluids we mention it is the real fluids and in idol plastic fluids we only mention it is a fluid so a fluid in which shear stress is more than the yield value so here in this graph we see that the shear stress have a more than the yield value and shear stress is proportional to the rate of shear strain or a velocity gradient is known as the idle plastic fluids so in a newtonian fluid that have similar definition the shear stress is proportional to rate of shear strain so we draw this type of the lines okay so in this definition of the newtonian fluids the one line is added a fluid in which shear stress is more than the yield value so we need to draw line not from these zero points but it have a some shear stress value so from this point we draw the one directly proportional lines and it is mentioned as the idol plastic fluids an example of the idol plastic fluid is the savage sludge so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering don't forget to share with your friends